came to me and said, Babe, would it be crazy if we moved to Boracay? I said, let's go! <laughs> For me, there was really no second thoughts. Over the past more than two years of being in the pandemic, we noticed that we were starting to develop some stresses about staying within the city and seeing the same places over and over again. We also noticed that our kids were becoming more shy with strangers, even with neighbors. One day, my husband was lamenting to God about family concerns, and somehow this inspired thought came to him, as if God was telling him, you don't have to stay in the city. First thing came to mind was the beach. As he was searching on the internet, he came across Boracay Long Term Rentals Facebook page. For me, there was really no second thoughts. It's like a city outside of the city. And since then, we've been planning, doing research about making the actual move. And so last February 10, we finally took the plane and settled here. Some of us have dreams of living by the beach or settling, retiring by the beach. At our age, I think we're the type of person who can appreciate the slowness. Well, the little ones, especially Elijah, who's three years old, we were already telling him that, Elijah, we're going to live by the beach. He used to have a small sandbox in our dirty kitchen. And we will tell him, when we live in the beach, the whole island will be your sandbox. You're gonna have a bigger space to play with your construction toys. But with our older child, who's 14 years old now, Joshua, we're still in the process of allowing him to adjust, helping him with finding compromises. And we're also not pressuring him to love the island right away. And we just let him be. If that's his place of comfort, if that's his space of comfort, we just allow him. Before moving to Boracay, we really looked forward to living the island life, like walking the beach every day, watching the sunset if possible every night, having shorty burger or a fruit shake or walking to the mall. You know how that's like. Our expectations are actually being met. In fact, we're starting to develop network with people here, locals, businessmen, and even friends whom we can meet with on a regular basis from the church. My husband and I, we love having our dates and walking by the beach. We love having a date while watching the sunset, just talking during our morning routine, playing with the kids and just spending time with them. For me, we're really having the time of our lives. Oh, you know how it is in Manila, if you need to go to the mall, do grocery or run an errand, you have to dress up. Especially with me, I'm a celebrity, people expect me to look good, right? Here in Boracay, everyone's so laid back. In fact, I was just telling my son, you know what I like about Boracay? I can go out to the mall, do my grocery shopping or whatever, and be in Pambahay, and I'm fine. You know? <laughs> That's another difference that I'm actually loving here in Boracay. And then, just being out in nature. I mean, there's something about nature that's so healing for the body mind and soul. It's so different from Manila because in Manila you feel the stress of the traffic, you experience the pollution in the air. There's just different energy in the city. But here everything is so laid back, everyone is so healthy and happy with all the sports and activities going on. It's just great. For now, we signed a 16-month lease here. We look forward to discovering more of the island, getting to know more of the people. What we know for sure is that God has a purpose and a plan for us here. Parang a few years ago, we were just so into making a lot of money, focused in our career. I'm also discovering that I can live with only a whole bunch of clothes. I don't need so much clothes or shoes. It's just so liberating to be free from so much accumulation of stuff and just be focused on what's really more important. The 
kung kaya mo, kung kaya ng bulsa mo, kaya na buong pamilya mo, go for it. Kasi malaking magiging dulot non para sa pag-iisip, para sa katawan, at para sa puso. In the past year, we discovered that spending time with family and building relationship is really more important. The minute my husband and my younger son were walking in the garden, and then the next minute they were jumping into the pool at the back of the house. So it's just amazing how we can do a lot of outdoor activities and family activities, and the spontaneity of it all is just so conducive to family life, to outdoor lifestyle. God brought us here as a family. I don't even miss Manila so much. For me, this is home, and home is where the heart is. I'd like to invite you to watch my YouTube channel, Life with Miriam and Ardi. And we're so excited because we're going to share with you our life here. We're gonna share a day in the life of our family and there's so many things to discover together. So please follow us, like and subscribe because we would love to journey with you. If you have an interesting or inspiring story that you want to share, email us at stories.onlygood at gmail.com. At para wala kayong mamiss na video ng OG channel, subscribe na and hit the notification bell to get updates on our latest episodes.